it is incumbent upon any innovative process whose goal is to actually make the world a better place to build things and plans that don't have a, a part of the story which is and then people do things which they don't have a strong incentive currently to do. Because if there's any step in the process which involves people doing the right thing for no obvious reason where they have no strong personal incentive to do it, it tends not to happen. And so I would like to think that for every problem in the world, there is a way to address it that does not involve and then a miracle occurs. I tell you what, if you can figure out how to cause the world to act more consistently altruistic, that would be an amazing moonshot. My name is Astro Teller. I oversee a part of Google called Google X, which is where we try to take moonshots, uh, things that are particularly audacious and hopefully will make the world a radically better place. I believe that people are good people and that they have good motivations, almost universally. But everybody is working on the things that they can in the ways that they feel comfortable and that adds up to some pretty slow and calcified systems sometimes. If you want to make the world a better place, starting by recognizing those things as they are and building a plan that uses those things as they are to cause the world to be a better place, I think is a better way to go about it. Let me tell you one of the things that excites me about the self-driving cars that we're building. One of the nice things about the project as we've conceived of it and worked on it is that we've set ourselves what almost looks like an unreasonable constraint, which is if only one of these cars was on the road, it would still make the world a better place that there's no infrastructure the world has to roll out, the other you know, seven billion humans on the planet don't need to understand the deep technology that goes into it, that it could just be on the road and it would make that passenger, uh, whoever's in the car, and all of the cars around them a little bit safer. What I like about that is that there's an obvious first step. There is not, and then a miracle occurs. There is not, and then we convince some whole huge society to shift all of the infrastructure over so that street signs all have like the magic reflectors on them that explain to the cars that they're stop signs. And that one requirement makes the project of making self-driving cars work harder. But it also means that you don't have to wait for societal miracles to occur. You still have to demonstrate that they're safe and society has something to say about that. That's reasonable. But once you've demonstrated that, it can be on the road one at a time, a hundred at a time, a thousand at a time. What could we do like that with education? Instead of waiting for everyone's attitude to change, and we work and we work and we work, and then all of a sudden humanity gets it, and then we're fine. I just don't think we have that long. What can we do right now that makes it better in a way that is self-rewarding, that causes pull? from society so that you do it with one person, you do it with 50 people, you do it with a thousand people, and everyone says, how can I be part of that? How could we help corporations to invest more heavily in people? It would be nice to just wish that, that, not, that for-profit corporations would use more of the capital that they have, more of the experiences and skills they have to train people in various ways um, so that they can be more part of the sort of knowledge workforce of the future. That will not happen. I do not believe it will happen unless there is a strong positive return for the private companies on doing that. We don't have yet either the social norms or possibly some of the legal infrastructure to support those kind of arrangements between private companies and individuals that will cause enough financial incentive for the private sector to jump in in a really big way to educating, I'm not talking about a few tens of thousands of people, but billions of people more in a radical way, it will require real changes in social norms and probably legal structures so that they can see a clear path where you put money in, 
You educate people and you return money over a long period of time to me in a way that doesn't make you feel like an indentured servant, but also satisfies you know, me, the for-profit company, that that's gonna work. Until we structure it that way, I don't think we're gonna see for-profit companies solving some of the problems that the people at this event are hoping that they solve. That legal structure does not exist today. But if it did, I don't think you'd have to do anything else.